so today I'm back with another review and this is going to be on a Chanel lip gloss that I am just adoring and loving so much so hopefully this kind of brings you back up because my last review was really just not good and depressing maybe so um, now we're back on a positive subject and a positive product so this is the Chanel let me not butcher the name lip gloss you know what? <laughs> you can't see that, can you? Focus! Alright, if you can't read that, I'm sure it's either in the title or I'm putting it in the description box because I'm going to completely butcher this name because I think it's French and I am very, very, very bad at French. So, anyways, it is a Chanel lip gloss. First of all, I'd like to point out that I love this little gold emblem on the top of the package. It just gives that little exquisite feel to it. But... This, you can just tell, is very high-end and formulated very well. So, here's the applicator. Kind of cinches in towards the top. Um, it's a spongy applicator, of course. Let me... Alright. I have concealer swatches from my last video, but... Um, there it is. It's a very nicely pigmented lip gloss where... A little goes a long way, which is good with a high-end product, in my opinion, because I don't want to be wasteful of the product. It is not sticky whatsoever. Hallelujah. I know. Because most of the lip glosses out there, high-end, low-end, whatever, are sticky and nasty feeling, and you're just like... Like eating peanut butter. <laughs> Only it's your lips, not the roof of your mouth. All right. Well, this color is Insolence, if that's how you say it, I-N-S-O-L-E-N-C-E, -E, number 57. And it is just a very nice generic pink color. I think anyone can pull this off, any skin tone. Um, it's a kind of nice medium rosy pink shade. I don't have it on today, ironically. Of course not. But um, it kind of looks around this shade, actually. So I wouldn't say this is as pigmented as a lipstick. It's definitely not. But it's a well-pigmented lip gloss where if you just want to put on lip gloss with no lipstick, you'd be totally good. The shine is very, very good, as you can see from that, yeah, <laughs> that swatch right there. It's just very nice and wet and shiny. Again, it's not sticky. It lasts... I mean, it lasts about as long as a typical lip gloss. Unless you're getting a lip stain. Lip gloss is lip gloss, and it's going to stay as long as lip gloss stays. So, I mean, typical. But I would basically recommend this to anyone who has the extra little money, and they are looking for a high-end lip gloss that they can wear every day and feel really good about. I think this is very, very awesome. I also like the sleek packaging. Um, black is always in. Um, but I can't quote a price. It's somewhere in the 30s, the low 30s, I believe. I got this as a gift from a subscriber, and I'm forever thankful. Um, but I can't quote an exact price, so that will also be in the description box, probably with a link to where you can get it. Um, I know that you can get Chanel at Bloomingdale's, um, possibly Macy's. <sighs> Chanel probably has a website. Maybe Nordstrom. Places like that. So, that's all I gotta say about it, really. I know it's a quickie review, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I mean, besides the high-end price that I know is difficult for a lot of people, including me, I would never have imagined I'd own a Chanel makeup product or Chanel anything. This is the only Chanel product I own, period. <laughs> so, it's very exciting to me. But... That's all I have to say about it. I hope it was helpful and kind of opened up your eyes to more options out there, to non-sticky, awesome lip glosses. So if you have the extra little money, I definitely recommend investing in this lip gloss because it's awesome, awesome, awesome. It's an everyday color. Definitely worth the extra few bucks. So I will see you in my next video. I hope this was helpful and you have a super fantastical day. And I'll see you there, guys. Bye.